Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be all on underrated skincare products. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so before I get into the video, I wanna get a little housekeeping out of the way. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you, thanks so much for returning. If you're new here, I am Bridget. On this channel, I do skincare, makeup, with a little bit of lifestyle sprinkled in. So if that's your cup of tea, please consider subscribing to my channel I'd love to have you join the family all right so let's get into these underrated products shall we and you know it's easy for a good product to fall under the radar because brands are coming out with new skincare releases uh, really every day it seems like same with makeup and even clothes and shoes and things like that it's just kind of hard to keep up and I am a creature of habit if I find something that works good for me and my skin I like to use it and I tend to be a bit of a broken record when it comes to my videos because I'll talk over and over and over how well a product does work for me so um, that's what this video is going to be about these are good products that have worked well for me that I really don't see a lot of love and really that's no fault of anybody else's it's just kind of hard to keep up it's like every day you have a new release here a new release there a buy this here buy this there even when you go in the store it's just new 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 everybody's bombarding you and including me I guess in a way I'm doing it to you right now but um, I'm just kind of skirting on back and talking about products that actually have not been released in 2022 they have been previous release they have worked well I've had time to use them longer than six months so I can really speak to if a product works well under makeup or or if a product is going to break you out or cause allergies. Now I do understand that all of that is relative. So a product that will work well for you may not work well for me, but you can kind of do your research. If I like it and then you go online and you see 50 other people like it and then you go somewhere and you see three people hate it. And from that, you can just kind of decide if it's something that you may or may not want to uh, pick up. So anyway, with all of that being said, let's go ahead ahead and get into the first one and this first one is an ampule and these are the Babor Hydro Plus ampules. I have talked so many times on my channel about ampules uh, and they're pretty much a booster. They're just a concentrated product that you can put on your skin and they come in like a little vial like this. And what you do is you take a, a tissue or you can take a towel, make sure it's gonna be thick because these are made out of glass and then you uh, break it open and then you put it in your hand and you pat it all over your face. I really like these because they do an excellent job of hydrating the skin as well as smoothing the skin. But I love this because sometimes my skin gets very, very, thirsty. I don't have dry skin, but depends on what I'm doing or what activities I'm engaging in, et cetera, et cetera. I just need extra hydration. And when that time comes, I need an ampule. And you can just think of ampules as a concentrated product. It's a booster, you know, uh, it's, it falls in the same family as a serum. You know, some say, would say that the ingredient potency is the same as a serum but to me it's a little bit better because uh, these are sealed each one is sealed and they can't be contaminated and things like that I guess that part is debatable but either way <laughs> these are underrated and I totally love all right them. so next up I have the Elta MD skincare skin recovery serum and it comes in a package like this really simple it's just a plastic bottle I do like the fact that the packaging doesn't allow you the ability to contaminate it like you can't open it up and actually stick your hands in there and contaminate it. I really do appreciate that. Um, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this on the YT and this particular serum is something that I really like to use uh, especially if my skin is going through a hard time. 
let's say um, I've been using a lot of makeup lately or I've been out in the elements or let's say I was eating poorly or whatever if my if my skin is having a rough time uh, because this one does a lot of things all at once it protects against free radicals it calms the skin it helps with irritation and it also detoxifies the skin while moisturizing the skin um, so you can just kind of think it think of this serum as uh, something to repair or help your skin that's really at the moment going through a rough time and I've actually had a good amount of time to use this it does have a clear really thin consistency it doesn't have a scent you all know how I feel about that particular thing but this is just really underrated and I don't see a lot of people talking about it I can really appreciate having it in my arsenal because you just need that particular product that's going to work over time Time on your skin and this is definitely it all right so next up I have the PCA skin collagen hydrator so with this one the name pretty much says it all it is a hydrator it's going to do a really good job of moisturizing your skin helping it uh, remain soft the collagen is going to help with the firmness of your skin but if you have really really dry skin and you're looking for an hydrator that you will actually see the difference um, let's say you use it at night uh, overnight and then you wake up this is something that you're definitely going to see a difference with now I can say that with this product even though it is an open you know when you open it the product is exposed uh, this one did come sealed so I can really appreciate that sometimes when I get products the uh, the the actual product isn't sealed and you just never know if anybody put their hands in it or, or whatever but anyway just wanted you all to know that because I know some people are sticklers about that this one is paraben free doesn't have fragrance none of that yucky stuff that uh, we love to hate but overall I really do like this one and if you have dry skin I would definitely say to check this one out all right so next up I have a Kors night brightening sleeping facial so it comes in a jar like this a nice little hefty glass jar very nice heavy and substantial I don't like the packaging you, you know but I'm not gonna beat a dead horse okay <laughs> but this is a really nice facial to have if you're looking for a product to even out your skin tone and texture I'm looking for something that's going to smooth and brighten your skin just to kind of have you uh, get that kind of look where you you go into work and your co-workers say oh my goodness what have you done you've done something you look so so awake so good you know it's one of those type of things but I really love this one this is a thicker cream this is for sure something you want to use at night and you are for sure going to feel the smoothness of your skin once you wake up I'm always amazed how some products can actually do that you know you wake up uh, you know you go to sleep with one texture you know you know how your skin feels and then you wake up and it's something that's much more smoother hydrated well this is definitely it uh, this is like a cult favorite on Sephora um, but yet again nobody on the YT um, really talks about it I think that they probably talk about it in online forums and things like that uh, but if hydrating and brightening and evening of the skin tone is something that you're looking for definitely check this one out all right so next up I have a turmeric glow moisturizer by Cora organic and comes in a beautiful jar like this okay so this is a side note I just have to say this do you see this you see how pretty this this container is so this little thing well I pay $60 for it I don't know how much it retails for now you know what I think it's on sale right now at Sephora for 50% off I'm not sure I'll put it uh, in the link below but a lot of what we're paying for guys is this beautiful packaging I can't help but wonder how much this moisturizer would be if it was in a package let's say like inky list or the ordinary would it still be $60 but either way isn't this gorgeous oh my goodness anyway <laughs> this is another thick moisturizer that I love uh, putting on at night and because it's so um, thick because it's so expensive I do use it sparingly this is one product that when you put it on at night you're gonna wake up and this is another one where your skin is gonna be very smooth and hydrated so it's got ingredients that's gonna help it with 
hydration and it has ingredients that is gonna moisturize the skin as well as brighten the skin. That's the turmeric. And this particular moisturizer is yellow. It is very yellow. When you rub it in your skin, you're rubbing it and you, it's still yellow and you're thinking, oh my goodness, is it, is it going to dissolve, <laughs> you know? But it does, it really does. It's just a very yellow, thick, thick moisturizer. Um, very under the radar, they recently came out with a new product and it seems like I, I just don't hear much about this one. Yeah, you see a few videos here and there, but as good as it is, it just seems like more chatter should be going on regarding this one. So that's it, short and sweet. Those are the five products that, in my opinion, are underrated. Let me know, have you used any of these products? If so, how well did they or did they not work for you? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.